My most influential crucible moment was my sister getting into her car accident when I was about 10 or 11. Uh, she and her friend were both th thrown from the car after the car had rolled. And I remember a few days after her accident, the first time I got to see her in the hospital and seeing this bruised and broken Anne Marie in this hospital bed and realizing how we could have just as easily been mourning the loss of my sister as opposed to um, visiting her in the hospital. And I remember her kind of waking up for a moment and seeing me and saying, I love you, and then going back to sleep. And uh, I think at that moment, my siblings and I had realized how precious life was and I think it's it's played a huge role as well uh, because I, I don't want to pass up opportunities. Um, I don't want the last time I see someone for me to be angry or upset with them because you don't know when time is going to run out for anyone. I want to be a catalyst for progress. Uh, I think my voice is, is very easily heard and um, I have no problem speaking when a system isn't working or um, progress needs to be made. And so my voice can be that first domino to fall that allows other people's voices to be heard maybe coming from the woodwork and if I can be that catalyst for progress then after my voice is heard and that domino falls all these other dominoes are going to fall right behind it and all of those individual voices will be louder than mine could ever be on its own and so uh, I don't want to be the face of change. I want to be a catalyst for progress. My leadership philosophy is leadership for passion and development. My leadership philosophy evolved into that after all my work with uh, my own passions and seeing how much my passions have developed.